Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvendril and in this video we're going to continue of course coding in Python. So for this one we are going to uh, create an, um, a small uh, simple script to SSH to a, what I call a commodity switch or a um, ubiquity device. So these devices you can see the picture right there. This is the model that we are we are going to work with, and it works for many other models. So we're going to create a switch, uh, a script using Python, of course, and the NetMiko library that we have been using in many other videos. So before that, uh, I just want to show you this is uh, my IT Workshop channel, as you can see. And in the last weeks, uh, I've been doing a lot of videos regarding to automation with Python. So many things that we're going to do here are, uh, I'm going to, again, I'm going to do the basics in this video, like I did in this video over here for the Cisco, for a Cisco device, but all the code after that, besides the changes we're going to do here, and the actual commands that are used in these kind of switches that are not Cisco, all the code are, is going, it's interchangeable. That means you can use it, all right? So before that, I just wanted to, to show you j just a quick pause. This is, a, this is not a sponsored video. So if you go to any of my videos, if you scroll down to the, to the information part of the video, you're going to see all these links. These are the, the books I personally like. So you have a link for there in Amazon. If you don't like any of these books, you can get to, if you click in this link over here, you can get to audiobooks for free uh, from Amazon Audible. It's a service I use. Um, I, I listen to a book, almost one book every two weeks or something like that, depending how long the book is or how long your commute to work or to wherever you go is. And besides that, if you also want one free month of Amazon Prime, so you could get anything that you buy in that you buy in two days, besides of um, Prime video and music, you can click in the video in, in the link over here. Okay, so let's go back to the video. So now what we are going to do here is I have the switch next to me. If you hear some fan noise, maybe you hear it, maybe not. Uh, that's the switch, that's the noise it's making, all right? Uh, I apologize for that, but it's super close to me. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open a CMD and I'm going to ping the switch. 192.168.1.200 and we are getting this so the switch is alive now what we are going to do is using paddy this is a free software again you might have another you might know this um, you might use another one but the video is a free software and the link for that is in the video description below so i'm going to connect to it 192 168 that one that 200 made a mistake port 22 of course because it's ssh so after a few Minutes is going to ask me this. The first key exchange algorithm supported by the server is Diffie Hellman Group 1, SHA, that's, that's how I read it, 1, which is below the configure warning tre threshold. So I'm going to click yes because it's telling me that it's exchanging uh, the public keys. So I'm going to log in as Alvendril, like uh, the username I have, I have used in many other videos. And the password is academy45 exclamation. So you can see we're logged in. So I'm going to issue some command like show version. So you can see most of the, like the serial number, redundant power status and all that. So I'm going to issue the command show, um, show interface, no, um, show system maybe. And uh, we have more about this switch. Like for example, we can we can check the system version over here uh we can check the mac address we can check how long this has been on and the name is called commodity switch just standard name telnet port 23 web port 80 and all that information so i'm, I'm showing you that this is a real switch okay so we're going to write a script in Python to log into this one and issue some commands, all right? So I'm going to close this because we don't really need it. We're going to issue the same commands here uh, that we're I'm showing you here from this uh, in Python. So I'm going to close this, yep. So I'm going to open Python and I have a new one over here. I just call it SSH to non-Cisco device because most of the time I use Cisco 
and I'm going to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to show you the, um, the scripts that I've been doing in the other videos. So it's going to be something like this. Uh, I'm going to explain this part over here, all this part, and we're going to do a very basic, but like I said, you can use the same code, but you have to change the, of course, the username, the password, the IP or the host name and the actual commands for these commodity switches. All right. Or these ubiquity switches. I don't know. I'm, different people call it different. <laughs> so I'm going to close this because we don't really need this. Um, before that, uh, if you don't have Python installed, you would have to go to this website over here. Where is this? Welcome to Python, python.org. Uh, you would click on download and the version as of today, the day I'm, I'm filming this video or recording, it's 3.8.5, right? So you just download it, you click here and you're going to download it. And once you have downloaded, like I have it over here, I'm going to double click on it and it's going to tell me install Python, blah, blah, blah. And the important part is that you have to check this box. Okay, so that's going to add to the path. So that's very important. So you can download libraries. In this case, we need the NetMiko library. I'm going to show you how to do it. But if you don't have, maybe you have Python installed and the way to check is, I'm going to show you how to check in a few more seconds. But if you're installing it from scratch, you have to select this guy over here and then you click uh, install now. I already have it. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just showing you. I'm going to close this. Yes, I don't need it. And from here, if you have checked that on the installation box, um, for example, if you type something, it's going to tell you it's not recognized as an internal or external command, right? So once you have installed it, and if you click pip, and if it tells you that the same, the same as here, it's not rec pip is not recognized as an internal uh, command, that means you have to install it again, all right? There are ways to add it without uh, uninstalling Python, but in my op opinion, it's easier to just uninstall it and install it again really quick so what you need to do to download the netmiko library it uh, you have to type pip install netmiko and that's going to download it's, it's really quick uh, again i'm not going to do it because i already have it but this is what you have to type in order to install the netmiko library into your system which is in this case is windows 10 it can be windows 7 windows 8 it can be linux even okay so for Linux, if I'm not mistaken, you, you would have to do it like this, if I remember correctly, right? Uh, but for Windows, it's like this, right? So you press enter and it's going to sell it in the next 15 seconds or something like that, right? So that's how you install the NetMiko library or any other library, actually, or any other software that you may need. Um, so we have that. Now we're going to start coding. So the first the first thing we're going to do is we're going to call the netmiko library from netmiko uh, import connect handler. So notice that uh, I'm capitalizing some letters, so that's important. Otherwise, you're going to get an error. So uh, on something I forgot to mention, the icons are a little bigger. That's on purpose, so you can see better what I type, right? So next. Um, we are going to do is we're going to create a variable which is going to be our switch or switches. So I'm going to call it uh, device. This is a variable can be called can be name anything that you may like. And this one is going to be a dictionary. Okay, so in this dictionary, we're going to type the credentials. Yeah, I like it this way much better. Or we can start here. No, we're going to start here. <laughs> so it's going to be device type. So this part, you, you have to type it like I'm doing it. Well, not like this. The, what am I doing? Device type, so that's good. And the device type is going to be for this kind of switches. It's going to be ubiquity H. So like that, ubiquity H. Right, so next one, we have a comma because it's a dictionary. Then the host. In this case, is go I'm going to use the IP address, but if you work in a company, and most likely it's going to be um, 
a host name like switch floor one blah 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 something like that but in this case i don't have a dns server at home so i'm just going to use the ip address that we have used some minutes ago so next is going to be the username username and as you have seen it when i was using um paddy is alvin drill which is me by the way hi i'm alvin drill <laughs> and the password is going to be you have seen it a few seconds ago as well academy 45 exclamation and the secret password the secret password which is the password like to enable to do many things well in cisco we have the enable password to actually configure the device if you don't type the enable password you cannot do anything so in this case it's the same in most companies where you are using a radio server most likely it's the same so in this case it's the same well it's not alvin Drew with capital it's alvin Drew like this and um, that's it that's yeah i believe that's it so we're going to test it so now we have all the dictionary and then we are going to create another variable you can call it anything you like but i just call it connect and in this one i'm going to type connect handler don't forget this is what we are calling here uh, we're going to unpack unpack the dictionary which is going to be device like that and the last step is going to be connect which is a variable don't forget that can be anything enable all right so maybe what i'm doing here this is how the library works okay you have to create a dictionary where all this it's already you have to type it like this all right i have tested in a, uh, not typing something or capital p for password and it doesn't work well, for example this is not going to work password username host device type secret so all that has to be as i'm showing you here all right so what I'm, we are doing here we are unpacking the dictionary that part may maybe is confusing to you so i'm going to show you here in um this is an online python um, compiler so I, I created a really quick exercise for this so as you can see this is a dictionary and i create a dictionary with two variables a and b and the values three and five so then i create a uh, a function that is called mol for multiplication and i want to um, what this function is doing is multiplying a and b that's pretty simple so we would need to get 15. so then i'm calling the multiply function and inside of it i'm unpacking the dictionary so as you can see here these two means that we are unpacking for python and all what is inside the dictionary so if i run it we're, we have to receive 15 right so if i change this for six for example I, i'm going to get uh, 18. so this is pretty much the how it works so i'm going to do one more print uh, a plus plus b for example so it's going to give us a nine because six plus three is nine so i'm just showing you what it's doing inside this code okay so it's not super confusing now what we are going to do is very simple we are going to issue a command so i'm going to create a variable output output and i'm going to call this guy which is my variable dot send and this over here uh, after the dot is the commands that netmiko use that is inside the library itself so we can i'm not making this up so this is how it works command and the command we're going to issue is show system the one we have seen a few minutes ago and we're going to print the output output and that's it so i'm going to save it and we're going to see if i have any error uh, run module invalid syntaxes oh why i have an error oh i'm missing a comma here so i'm going to close this and we're going to save it again Control s and we're going to see if this time it works so it's not giving me any error so we're going to check and we're going to wait a few seconds to see if we can get what we need um and it's working yeah 
So system description, manage 24 gigabit power over ethernet. Um, this is the OS version. System update, uptime for days. Yeah, so this is what we got. So we're going to change this and we're going to issue the command. It's working, as you can see, it's working. Show version, show build and brief. Does this exist in this kind of switches? I, I don't know. <laughs> let's see. Save it, run, run module. And let's see if we get an error or something. Um, if we get an error, we should see also the, the output for that. So let's wait, invalid, yeah. So this command, or it's either not correctly written, or it doesn't really exist. So what other command we can use? So interfaces, maybe. Show interfaces, we run it. Yes, I want to save it. And we are going to see if this one works. Show interfaces in a non-Cisco device, in a commodity ubiquitous switch. Incomplete command, all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but let's go back to this guy over here and we're going to connect again. And 192, 168.1.200. And yes, come on, come on, login as Alvin Drill. And the password is Academy45! exclamation. So we're logging in like we did a few seconds ago. So let's see, so interfaces, what do we have to type? Brief. Yeah, that's what I type. So interfaces brief. Did I? I don't remember. So we're going to copy this in our code. Show interfaces brief. So I'm going to close this. Yes. Show interfaces brief. So we're going to save it and run it again. And we should see the same thing. So we wait a few seconds for the authentication process for the username and password. And we should be able to see all the interfaces now, oh, and it's working now. So the one here is the only interface that is working. That one is connected to my home router. So that's why we have connection to it. And we can see that this command is the right one. So like you can see there are many, you can do anything that you may like. So this is a just basic uh, example of how you could do it, how you can connect and you can automate many things. Again, you can check now, uh, videos like these two over here, which are going to allow you to create more scripts, more complex scripts to get information from any switches. OK, so that's all I wanted to show in this video. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other, other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next video.